It's the time of year when we just want to be cozy. <laughs> I talked about this a little bit in the last vlog, but I, this time of year, when our bodies are like acclimating to the cold weather, I would much rather dress cozy and comfortably than try to look like some chic it girl. Comfort is what I'm all about right now. And so I thought a good thing to do for today, right before Thanksgiving, would be to talk about five really cozy things that I'm loving for fall. And the first one is probably one of my favorites, a beautiful, big, warm blanket. And I happen to have a really fun Happy Meal to unbox with you now from Chappie Wrap. And how fun is this? I literally did not plan this. It matches my, my uh, sweater perfectly. So I'm gonna take this out and experience the chappy wrap with you for the first time. I've never had a chappy wrap blanket, but they have the hype. This has got to be the softest fleece I have ever. <sighs> Yay! Oh wow, I love the piping detailing on the hem. Oh my gosh. It's like reversible. So it's a little darker on one side than the other, but they look beautiful on both sides. Oh my gosh. See? Yes. This is what I'm all about this time of year. And I don't want to leave here. Oh, this is very warm. Wow, I love this blanket. I already know that Steven is going to steal this Steal it from me. I can't recommend Chappie Wrap any more highly. <gasps> wow, I wish you could like feel it, but you can't really feel it on the TV screen. Oh, it is a reversible blanket. So it's 58% cotton, 35% acrylic, 70% or 7% polyester. Machine wash, cold cycle, tumble dry, low heat, don't iron and don't dry clean. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna style it on our bed as well. Yee! Yay! That's very fun, I'm obsessed. I'm a little sad though, because again, I know Steven will steal this blanket. This is going to match perfectly with my curtains. Perfectly, oh, the curtains that I designed, they're gonna look so good with this blanket. Let's just go ahead and style it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is so beyond cozy. You could do a couple different things with a blanket at the foot of a bed. You can literally just throw it and make it look like you threw it together, hence the name throw. Or you could be very intentional and like actually fold this and do it better than what I just did. I like the messier look personally. I like a really intentional, diagonal, messy look. That's my favorite. And these caramel tones in the blanket perfectly complement the curtains that I designed for this room specifically. These curtains are amazing. They're available to shop on my Spoonflower storefront. And I love, love, love what they add to this room. And now, with the addition of the beautiful Chappy Wrap blanket, we are all cozy. The only thing that would make it more cozy in here is a candle, which happens to be the second thing on my favorite things list. Yes, as promised, the next thing on my list is a candle, but it's not just any candle. It is a State of France, Japanese quince, porcelain, gorgeous footed candle. I love her so much. Here's why I love the Japanese quince, because it's very subtle but it is so sweet for this time of year. It really is just cozy. It's not like overly sweet or overly masculine. It is the perfect mixture. What I recommend is also incorporating a fun little ritual into your routine. So one of my favorite rituals is striking a match and lighting my candle. It's just the simplest little thing, but it just, it makes you feel like your home is a cocoon and it's cozy this time of year. So I love lighting a match, and burning a really, really special candle. Another thing I love about State of France candles, this might look small, but this lasts forever. 
I'm not kidding. It's it's an absolutely worthwhile investment because after the candle is burnt out, you can reuse this beautiful porcelain cash pot. And if you look inside, there's even detailing in the cup. I mean, this would make a beautiful display on top of a wall mount or something. And what I've done with the other ones I have is I keep a boxwood ball on top of this. It's the best look. It's so chic and so elegant. So highly recommend. I just turned the heater on and I can feel it. It's so nice. But this is one of, oh, this is my cousin's wedding matchbooks, by the way. Hey, Susie, shout out to Susie. I loved these matchbooks. It's just the sweetest little routine to incorporate into your day. And then your room gets to smell like a match, which if you're a freak like me, is a wonderful smell. My husband is a fire protection engineer, I'll have you know. His job is to put out fires. And I'm over here lighting candles every day. Side note, how beautiful is this coffee I just made? I, I think it's the artist in me that's always just like mesmerized with my cup of coffee. Like I could just watch these colors dance together all day. Mm. And I know I'm talking about being cold and wanting to stay cozy and I'm drinking iced coffee. This is my DNA, iced coffee. It can be January and I will always be drinking iced coffee. Okay, so now we've got our house all warm and cozy with our blankets and our candles, but how can we remain chic yet cozy in our wardrobe this time of year? I've got two new arrivals that I think you will just love. When I think of stunning heirloom quality dresses, clothing, Anna Kate immediately comes to mind. This is my second dress from Anna Kate and I am utterly hooked. Let me try her on for you. Well, first let's unbox her. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I cannot wait to try her on. So again, this is a maxi dress. Maxi dresses are just magical for winter. For fall and winter, comes with a beautiful raffia belt. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, let's try her on. I'm literally, I cannot. <laughs> I know. Okay, the way this hugs the body is incredible. I feel like I need bronzer on my chest. But you know what? I'm a redhead and I'm pale and that's how we are and we're gonna let it happen. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. I had a feeling this dress would be one of those dresses that's like 10 times better in real life. And this is one of those dresses. This is a show-stopping, goddess-worthy dress that, like, it doesn't do it. It can't be done justice in, like, a listing on the website. Like, this is absolutely astonishingly beautiful. I feel bad holding my coffee. Hang on. No, you can't live life like that. <laughs> but wow. Here's what's really fun about this. I am not doing anything the shoulders are staying, are staying there. No matter what I do, it's really something else. It's absolutely magical. <laughs> this is a Christmas dress. This is the, the holiday dress. This is the holiday dress. I'm really, I'm sorry, but I'm sick of seeing red everywhere. Like green and gold. For like holidays or Christmases. Look at the detailing. No detail was spared in designing this beautiful piece. And I love the puffy sleeves. This is so, so beautiful. I, I can't do it justice in a video. 
the website doesn't do it justice. I am just going to be living in this. This is lined as well. This was made as part of their holiday collection, so it's lined. Like, you're gonna be cozy. And watch how cute it is when I do what I do with all my dresses in the winter. Add a turtleneck, and then it's a really fun, fun, beautiful look. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with this. Now, I have been walking around barefoot, and I would like to talk to you about some of the cozy shoes that I'm into at the moment. Two words, velvet slippers. These are my favorite velvet slippers. I come back to them time and time again by Patricia Green. I love, love, love these loafers. I'll wear these around the house and I'll also wear them out. I wear these out. They're technically slippers, but I wear them out all the time. And then she also makes the sweetest little house shoes. Look how cute they are. I wear these all the time. And another thing I will say that I love is any kind of material that's like cozy, like velvet or needlepoint. These are my new needlepoint loafers. I am so in love with these. Oh my gosh. Those are my favorites to wear with like a nice outfit with like leggings, but they're still so cozy. Like just make it easy on yourself this time of year. Being cold is not fun. Um, and I was just thinking about it. This dress is something that I feel like is the answer to every black tie or holiday party or holiday soiree or every, every fancy holiday party done done absolutely obsessed and Anna Kate just keeps coming out with these collections so she just launched another collection that's so to die for so I'm gonna leave the link down below for you to shop all of her beautiful designs oh uh, I mean she has everything from like fancy dresses like this to like loungewear really beautiful sweater dresses too like it's all so good and so luxurious but I'm gonna show you the beauty that ensues when I put those needlepoint black loafers on with like a basic outfit, it just elevates it so much. I'll show you. Okay, the chicness that ensues. You just have the sweater, the leggings, and the loafers. They just really elevate the whole look. Like the shoes, top to bottom, and they're so cozy. It's just so elegant and lovely and now let's tie off this favorite things roundup list with a bow literally something i have been addicted to lately because i love not having hair in my face i'm always doing this or this or just like flipping around with it messing with it especially when i'm painting so something i have come to really love is a simple bow beret and what i do you can do this a myriad of different ways but I just take some hair, just feed this through. I grab some hair in the bottom and then I give it a little poof. Then I clip it. And then from there, you can like adjust as you want. Yeah, see, then you can poof it as desired. And I like a big poof shocker so yeah how much fun is that i think a good velvet hair bow beret is excellent this time of year just get it out of your face and you go and do what you need to do and now i need to head to meet my mom and sister we're doing my mom's birthday lunch today and a little pickleball so let's go <laughs> Sweetest little angel. Oh my god. Sitting in my lap, and I'm teaching her about sights. <laughs> so we touchy touchy and we wipe it off. And it's cold, and she's so happy. <laughs> she wants everything. Oh, and her, oh my her god. Mom is matching. You look so cute, sissy. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> and the fun. Well, she's like, oh my gosh. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> 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 there it goes. Is that your eyes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Is it cold, Elizabeth? Is it cold? It's cold. Oh, I feel like touchy, touchy. It's cold. She's so happy. She's like, where'd Hey Hey go? <laughs> She picked it up. Good job. Oh, there it goes. Is it cold? I was gonna yeah, use it. It's, I think it's really hot. Look at her, y'all. Look at her. It's really hot, though, Carol. It's so cute. I had to show you guys my pickleball outfit for today. I'm really just looking my best because I know for a fact I'm gonna get slaughtered by my mom. We grew up playing tennis together and she's better than us. And you always kill us in pickleball, don't you? That's true. Yep, it is. Does it? It gives, it gives Steven so much joy when he wins one point against mom. I just take pity on him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beautiful seaside sweater by mom. Look in this and tell me what brand this is. Wait, is it oh, Ivy Crown? It is Ellsworth and Ivy. Ellsworth and Ivy. I was gonna say Crown and Ivy. We're in watercolor at the Seaside Store, the 30A, 30s, 30, or C Seaside Store. <laughs> yeah, the Seaside Store. Seaside Store. And this is a skort from Tuckernuck. I love this skort. It has like rubber in the shorts, so it stays put when you wanna put your balls under here. Fellow artist Aaron Donahue Tice launched a collection of pickleball paddles, and I love bragging on my friends, and she did amazing. I'm gonna take you now back in time to unboxing this beautiful new pickleball paddle. I get to brag on my sweet friend Aaron Donahue Tice. I am so proud of you, girl. Okay, she's got a collaboration making pickleball paddles. So when she wanted to send me one of these before it launched, you know your girl is on it. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud. I'm so impressed. When you want to intimidate your player, blah, 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 blah. Look at that different color. Now you're looking at this. Now you don't see what I'm gonna do. Pop, I just got the point. And you were focusing on my pickleball paddle. This is gorgeous. So you get like two in one. It's duo-toned. Y'all have to shop her work. She has a ton of stuff. She's got table linens, she's got wallpapers, she's got fabrics, the works, and everything is based on her abstract, stylistically drawn little poppies. How much fun. I'm so proud. I'm so excited and elated. Yay! I am obsessed with the pattern, and we're gonna get pickleballing. I'm really just gonna get slaughtered by mom. That's okay. <laughs> she takes no pity on us. Do you want me to? See, that's the kind of mind games that she plays. It's not a mind game, it just happens to be true. <laughs> but you're pretty. <laughs> We're gonna play some pickleball and get annihilated by my mother. Okay, wait, somebody hold my glass of water. She beats us even if she's trashed. But she's never trashed. She's a lady. Hey, you're. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I did have too much wine. I'm keeping Let's this see. all in. No, I'm you're not. not. I'm not cutting this at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see either. Cut, cut. No, all of this is staying in. No, this it's is not. so funny. Okay. I can't believe it, but the, the sun is already like almost gone. It is 5.20 and the sun is setting. I, this depresses me about this time of year, but I had a really cute outfit on at church today. I paired my uh, shirt dress, the eye cat shirt dress with this sweater. So I thought I would do a little car show off. And then I had this headband on, which was so fun. Anyway, I'm popping into Trader Joe's and Sephora because you're gonna laugh at me. You know that lipstick that I bought? I think the vlog before last, two vlogs ago, two vlogs ago, I got a lipstick because I have never had a lipstick that I really love before and I'm like on a mission to find one. This color is not the best. I feel like we could do better and I found a better color on Nordstrom. So I'm gonna exchange the one I got at Sephora and I'm probably going to get another 
a tub of that incredible lip mask by Tatcha Harper. Oh my gosh, that lip mask, so good. And I'm going to get another one because when I bought it originally, the associate was like, oh, uh, I have to check in the back because we are usually out of that. So I was like, oh, I don't ever want to run out of this because I'm obsessed with it. Like my lips are so healthy. I'll pop it on the screen. It's the Tatcha Harper lip mask. Like it's a miracle. It is a miracle. So after church, I usually, everything's on Peachtree Road. So I can do Sephora and Trader Joe's after church in one fell swoop. I'm gonna get a couple of things at Trader Joe's, mainly bread, mainly bread. <laughs> it's like all I need at Trader Joe's today is just bread. Steven just laughed at me because he's like, you're going back to Sephora to exchange the lipstick that I thought you loved. I was like, yes, yes. Cause I only wore it a few times and I don't like trying things on in the store. So it's just hard for me to make my mind up when it comes to Sephora. I don't know if anyone else is, anyone else feels the same way, but Sephora is kind of anxiety inducing. <laughs> so we're gonna go back and do that. Okay, got the goods. Now we're heading into Sephora. So this is the brand that I love, and this is the mascara that I have just fallen in love with, in love with. These are some great lipsticks too, but I just, None of them were pink enough for me, to be honest. All right, it's the next morning and I am painting all day, but I wanted to apply some of this for you. Don't pay attention to my nails, please. To show you how incredible it is. I swear my lips seem bigger. An absolute dream.